What's going on, Freedom Fighters? We have an SOS from Windsor. We have a massive convoy on the Ambassador Bridge, and they need all available patriots, all available Freedom Fighters, cars, trucks, bodies. Get to the Ambassador Bridge and help out any way you can. They take their fuel, guys? No, they're, um, okay, so we came here with a symbol of pro to protest with <laughs> jerry cans, and uh, those two are brand new, filled with water, and thank you very much. Um, those are two brand new, filled with water. Mine's over there. You right brought there. a jerry can with it is, water. It is a 20, no, that's a 25 liter. It had gas in it in the past, and now I filled it with windshield water. I didn't want a frozen thing. I'm a snowmobiler and with other, yeah. I don't want to. give you a file number? So they took it from you? file number? Well, yes, for an unlawful search and seizure, did they not give you any? No, but did they take, did they take the... Uh, they're, they're take, that's apparently no longer my can. Okay. So yeah. is it got fuel in it or is it got... Sorry? Is it fuel in it? Windshield washer. Windshield. I didn't want anything freezing in it, so I just put windshield washer. Buddy, okay. it's being documented, they have to give you a file number. Absolutely. You're going to get a file number. You chilling? Chilling? like a villain, bro. Oh, hey, yo, did I talk to you yesterday? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you want to say something again? What else am I going to say? We're expecting, uh, we just caught a narc. Yeah. Or a fed. He was, uh, trying to get us to overrun the parliament. Really? Yeah, so we told him to fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, and we, Get uh, him on camera. Huh? Get him on camera. We did. We got, yeah? we got a picture of him. You want to so, show him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> show the whole world what he looks like. Yeah, we got people watching, man. Take a look at these trucks, guys. Love it, man. Alrighty. Are there are some of them here in Ottawa? Yeah. Alright, boys, this is the guy that you guys have to watch out for. He's a fucking fed. Hold on, let me get the zoom. There you go, guys. He'll try to get you guys to fucking overrun the government and shit and blah blah. He'll try and say anything that he can. He has a fucking microphone. In a scarf that I've seen. So uh -huh. watch yourself. What so he's trying to entrap you. Exactly. Uh -huh. He's working with them. We tried to report it to the cops, and the cops didn't even get our information, nothing. They said, okay, no problem. Let us get a picture, and that was it. So, careful. Hey, there. don't hurt him, but be beware, guys. Listen, beware. Listen, to all those guys who are thinking we should be doing something worse than just sitting around, let me explain something to you. The reason why we're taking shit slow, and the reason why we're doing everything in, in peace is to show the whole world how corrupt this government really is. Yeah. They tried to fuck us with the news, didn't succeed. They tried to fuck us with the feds, it didn't succeed. The more and more time goes on, the more and more they're digging their own fucking ground, uh, digging their own ground. Yeah. So, so far everybody saw that this place was peaceful. It's gonna continue to be peaceful. Yeah. The reason why is because these guys are gonna keep trying to do some dumb shit, and the whole world's gonna see how fucking corrupt these guys really are. Yeah. So. Hey man, man. That's what we're trying to stop. God bless. God bless. We're around, hey, Main Street, Canada. Hey. Okay, Ben, go ahead. So me and my buddy, collecting garbage. The streets are clean, as you can see. Super clean. Spotless. Spotless. We got shut down because we didn't have helmets, so we went and got helmets. We came back, jumped on there, and the cop says to us, it's got no plates on it no insurance so we can't drive this thing we can't clean up garbage you're stopping us from cleaning up garbage they're not on our side they're not helping us at all yeah they're it's a squeeze right that's it's right. it's a little squeeze and uh everyone that sees this video make it go viral we are out here cleaning up and a guy like ben is driving around making this place spotless there isn't a cigarette butt. We've been spreading salt as well so nobody falls because the town's not cleaning anything up, not cleaning any snow. 
we've gone through 30 bags of salt in this area yeah so nobody slips and falls and they've been here cooking uh burgers and everything for courtney has been cooking sausages hamburgers everything by donation we got a 53 foot trailer over there packed full of food yeah so that's the stuff that needs to get out guys uh we're 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 not impacting this is under siege we're actually cleaning and this good good man ben is now just getting screwed over uh but well welcome to trudeau government all right any last words ben no that's it see you guys okay freedom freedom okay next level craziness here next level craziness the police have gone too far these are two volunteer farmers with empty slip tanks nothing in there empty slip tanks i didn't get here soon enough but they have been arrested taken away in cuffs and their trucks have been impounded are now being towed by ottawa metro towing two good hard-working men canadians farmers have been arrested for the crime of having a slip tank on their truck. They, I'm told they've been arrested for aiding and abetting. The police have arrested, arrested volunteer farmers for the crime of having a slip tank on their pickup truck. They are now getting towed by OMT towing. OMT towing. Let's hope they never tow again. Here, OMT towing is taking away trucks with empty slip tanks. Empty slip tanks, farmers have been arrested, taken away in cuffs, and their trucks are now being towed for the crime of having a slip tank in the back of their truck. As you'll know, many farmers have slip tanks, and it's empty, folks. Empty. There's the evidence. This thing is totally empty. Empty slip tanks. These trucks, they're sneaking around the city, sneaking around the city, arresting people for having fuel. Some children around, women, men, older people, just trying to warm up. Um, the police came over very suddenly, and I would almost say um, trying to intimidate anyone who's in the area. Over probably 50 police officers surrounded a group of roughly 20 people, I'd say at the max. The police officers then started blocking off a part of the sidewalk to a parking lot. Many people were told that they weren't allowed to access their vehicle because there's an investigation going on. Um, slowly the police officers began letting people in to access their vehicle, but it was still very odd to look. I thought we lived in a free country and you could leave a parking spot you paid for at any time. Um, and then out of the blue, the police officers began surrounding people that had jerry cans and started to uh, just surround them. Were they ticketing them, arresting them? What did you see? They then um, talked to the, them for roughly about 30 minutes. And then uh, I saw the cuffs go on uh, two men and two, uh, sorry, two men and one woman. And they were both uh, taken into the back of a... Yes. He got footage of the snipers apparently yes. on the hotel. Yeah. The snipers, They're they everywhere. were walking around with guns. We're not walking around with guns. We're not violent. Nope. You know We've what? Got hot pockets you can and take gloves. our diesel. You can take anything materialistic that you want from us, but you can't steal our love. You can't steal our happiness. You can't steal.
steal anything. You can't steal these smiles, okay? Yes. We're, we're still all... here, we're still loving everybody, and we're still protesting. Oh. We're here for the people. We're here to save our rights for our children, for our grandchildren, their children, and so on and so on. What they're doing is illegal. It's a crime. He is a crime minister, and we need to stop this and welcome everybody here to come and support our rights to choice and to freedom. Thank you very much, truckers. We love you! For two years, we've been starved of love, being social and being with our families and our loved ones, going to school, playing sports, and going anywhere we want. For two years, we had nothing, and we came here to a feast of love and joy and happiness. There are no terrorists here. You can say what you want, but if you come here and see what's happening, you will feel it. We can tell you what you want, but when you come here, you feel it in your heart. You feel what's happening around here, and you can't do anything but smile. Take our gas, take our diesel, take our propane, take anything you want, but you will not take our freedom, you will not take our love. We are Canadians. Yeah. Well said. Thank, Thank you, you ladies. So Thank, Thank you for so being much. here. Thank you for recording. So, in fact, yes, they are taking fuel right away from people as they attempt to fuel their vehicles. And uh, people are surrounding the police, even though the police are actually being extremely calm and uh, cool about kind of everything, except for they're taking fuel, I guess. But uh, other than that, they're being they're being pretty respectful to everyone, considering they just got surrounded in like two seconds. that we have till midnight to supply these families with fuel it's been all over why would you guys try and starve out people fighting for the freedoms legally there's been no evidence of violence here at all I don't care you guys are gonna take our fuel you're trying to get away from the point right now you're starving families out yeah they're, they're taking our fuel these they, it's been awful friendly now that he knows he's being broadcasted. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, guys, I cannot find Tim Hortons. I'm going back up there to the convoy, but there's your budget truck. There's the budget truck we've been telling you about. Remember the false flag we were discussing in the morning? When the fuck do you see cops driving around in budget trucks acting all sketchy with special constable agent uniforms, carrying really weird things in really weird ways? That's not normal. As somebody that has been down here and watched Hells Angels own clubs being raided, and all kinds of stuff. I can tell you what we just watched there, completely abnormal for any circumstance involving police down here. Like this building, what the hell? The Bank of Montreal, man, like they're sneaking shit in the back door of the Bank of Montreal. It's not a hotel. It's the Bank of Montreal. What would they possibly be sneaking in there? Something's weird going on, man. What's all the buckets? What's that? What's in the buckets? Stuff. Can I help you? Well, I'm just exercising my Second Amendment rights. It's awesome. Yeah. What is that? What's that? What is that, sir? You tell me. Corrosive. Toxic explosive corrosive of some sort in my hotel. Mm. Six, 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 six. Huh?
by the time I can't believe it I can't believe it that they gonna left like that a pile of rocks they think that we're gonna be violent with that they think that uh, we're gonna be uh, violent exactly what I want to say. exactly that's it brothers yeah, share the truth that's, bad. that's really fucking bad that's like giving